What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for the collective. We're going to do a reading for the collective. Let's see. All right, collective. What's going on? Collective is all 12 zodiac signs. It can resonate with you. If it doesn't, just throw it out. All right, let's see. Three cards, please. What's going on with the collective? What's going on with the collective? Oh, the devil. Ooh, sheesh. All right, what's going on with the collective, please, spirit? Collective energy. What is going on with the collective? The justice card. Okay. What's going on with the collective? And the hermit. All righty. Bottom of the deck is the star. Okay. So the underlying energy is about hope, recognition, healing, okay? Somebody could be in the spotlight. This is faith. This is also rejuvenation, inspiration. Um, but the overall energy with the devil, the justice, and the hermit, there could be some sort of toxic addiction, depression, mental health issues, egotistical issues, things like that going on here. Uh, dependency, bondage, materialistic energy. Uh, but with the justice card here, uh, this is karmic justice. This is consequences. So if somebody's been in this devilish energy, the scales are balancing out here and somebody could be needing to go into hermit energy, which is like going within, soul searching, spiritual enlightenment. So for example, this could be the toxic energy could be drug addictions, alcoholism, uh, sex addictions, right? Uh, because of that energy, somebody could have had to get counseling or if somebody was... Um, had a sex addiction, messing with multiple partners. There's an, uh, something's balanced out, balancing out with that. You know, some sort of lessons are being learned. Uh, integrity is being tested. You know, if somebody has been sleeping with multiple people, if they've been lying, cheating, stealing, you know, doing all of that to get the outcome that they want, the skills are balancing out here. And this here with the hermit energy, somebody's now having to go into self-reflection. So there may be somebody ghost in a situation, ghost in certain people, um, Maybe taking, there could be a, like a breakup or a separation. Somebody needing to take the time to go within and heal with the star energy um, so that they can recover. So let's see what this has to do with and what this is about for the collective. And y'all ignore my baby girl, okay? She don't want to get down. What's the devil energy? Jim. Okay, meeting someone at the gym, staying long hours, doing more than working out and destroyed, shattered, broken and effed up. So there could be some type of um, clarity about a situation where somebody has been, you know, dibbling and dabbling with a, a third party situation here. Somebody could, you know, some information may come out about somebody cheating. There could be like a, a pregnancy scare on the side. This could be one way that somebody finds it out or somebody was sleeping with somebody to have a baby or wanting to... Um, Maybe for materialism, you know, materialistic reasons, somebody wanted to sleep with somebody to get uh, pregnant so they can get the child support uh, money. Um, don't want to hear it and pregnancy test. This is somebody saying like, somebody, yeah, diamond girl born to shine. This could also be somebody, you know, stepping out. Maybe they had like a good reputation. They were a good person. They decided, decided to step out or sleep around on their person or their, um, or sleep around with this person, have like a sneaky rendezvous. And um, somebody's looking at this person like you're too good for that. Like you, somebody could have ruined their reputation. Ooh. Because of this devilish energy, somebody could have also lo lost their job. That could have been one thing as well. Ooh, okay. This is kind of like good girl gone bad type of energy. Good dude gone bad. What's the justice card? Yeah, brainstorming. Bottom of the deck, keeping you a secret. Yeah brainstorm is here it says ideas problem solving figuring ish out so now of course is the consequences with the justice card here so now this is karmic justice playing out here so whatever the intentions were there are consequences to those actions so now these consequences are playing out and somebody's thinking in their head how do i get out of this how do i resolve this we've learned the lesson from the situation how do we get this resolved how we how do we settle this um for example, somebody was lying, cheating, stealing. There, you know, somebody could be questioning somebody's integrity, somebody's honesty. Uh, yeah, tantric sex, astral projection, and uh, sex, and then chill out. Yeah, it's like, for example, if somebody was cheating with somebody and somebody got with somebody, and and now they're trying to be in a relationship, it's uh, well, can I trust you? Are you going to are you going to cheat on me the way you cheated on the person that you were with with me? You know, it's that type of energy. Are you um, 
are you said you went to rehab you said you did this are are you going to relapse you know what what's going to be the outcome of this is this relationship going to work although you cheated on your person with me like is this going to work out the way that i'm thinking it's going to work out you know betrayal deceit backstab traitor not to be trusted yeah now there's like you know like this is like that energy the way you get them is the way you lose them like this is like if you got with a cheater and and you were proud to be with that cheater or cheating with that person you know in due time that person will end up cheating on you unless they've changed their toxic ways you know is that type of energy but you know uh, my goodness okay but now somebody's in their head they're brainstorming trying to figure stuff out what's the hermit for the collective please spirit what's that hermit energy okay fake apology wow okay and total drama is on the bottom so with this fake apology it's like okay is this person really sorry or did they did they really mean this you know is this person really sorry for cheating or, or sneaking around or sleeping around with somebody else? Like, are we going to be able to heal this situation or are we going to be able to resolve the situation here? Like, is this person lying to me? Are they being honest with me here? It's like drama, you know, game over, knowing they effed up. Yeah, it's like, can I, can I trust this person or am I able to trust this person? Like, you know, if something, if a foundation is built off of lies, it's not a stable foundation that eventually will crumble. So now somebody's really like doing drugs. Like, can I trust this person? Am I going to be able to trust this person? Because they were over and over indulgent in the past. You know, is it going to change? Is is everything going to work out? Like this is again, like if if somebody was on drugs and they were like, oh yeah, I'm getting better. I'm getting, you know, I'm I'm healing. Da da da. And then you get caught with the drugs or with the alcohol or in the sexual act or whatever. You know, it's like, well. You've already lied to me once. You've lied to me several times. How can I trust you now? It's like, well, is this another fake apology? So um, you said you didn't do it, but I can't, I can't really trust you. I feel like you lied to me. Like, it's, it's that type of energy. Sheesh, this is like mental freaking conflict, like over and over again. It's like, yeah, you might have got the person you wanted, but is it going to be uh, worth the stress and anxiety? Because now you're you're panicking. Is this person cheating on me? You know, or is this person really drug free or alcohol free or are, are they lying to me? Are they stealing from me? Because this could be somebody this could be like somebody wanting to get a job, you know, and they got it on the record that they've been thieving and lying and cheating, you know, and, you know, you kind of kind of weigh your the good outweighs the bad type of energy or the bad outweighs the good. It's one of those situations here. Like, can I really trust this person? So, wow. OK, spirit, let me put you back up on my shoulder, Missy. Let's see here. <laughs> you see. Sorry, y'all. Get back up here so I can shuffle better. All right. Let's see. All right. What's the devil with that gem energy for the collective? What is the devil with the gem energy for the collective? Big spirit. The devil with the gem energy? Okay. What's that? Drama starter. Whatever this toxic energy was, it brought a lot of drama into the equation. What's the devil with the gem card? <sighs> Extra triggered on the bottom of the deck. This could have really triggered a lot of people. Fake accounts. There could have been a lot of fake accounts involved. People stalking, people watching, tripping on you. Uh, this could be somebody watching somebody else from a, another account, like not wanting to be seen. Like, oh, well, can I trust this person? Let me, let me. This could even be like somebody messaging somebody from a fake account, pretending to be somebody else, pretending to be another person to see if that person's going to cheat. Somebody could be hiding behind the screen, you know, blocked, bad karma. Yeah, now somebody's going through karma. Like somebody, whatever this is, somebody's being blocked. Somebody's going through karma. Somebody's having to, you know, all this drama is being played out. There could be multiple people, you know, stalking you or stalking this person or some people could be creating fake accounts and and acting and pretending like there's somebody wow what's that fake accounts extra trigger jackpot for some of y'all somebody's wondering like did i only get this offer because of the money that i have or what's the fake accounts for the collective what's that fake accounts yeah girl fights arguments physical fight at war and competing there could be other people competing you know Pretending to be somebody that they're not because they want to compete, travel. Some people are like at a distance from each other here. 
this can literally like be somebody creating a fake account pretending to be a person to message you know this third party and or whatever this honey this is too much this is messy creeping and heading the clouds yeah because somebody's constantly thinking like well does this person have a fake account an alternate account like this could be somebody you know this person was very promiscuous and things like that well does this person is this person on a date nap is this person out there doing this is this person looking for here or do they have a second cell phone or or who are they texting are they erasing text messages it's like it's the uh, it's like kind of paranoia now you know obsession paranoia wondering who are they sleeping with are they messing around on me are they cheating on me but it's all because of how the situation began. So now somebody's all in their head wondering if somebody's creeping on them, cheating on them. What's the justice with the brainstorming card for the collective? Too busy winning. This is like somebody wanting to win at all costs. So they were willing to do whatever they needed to to get that win. The ain't-ish card is on the bottom of the deck. So yeah, this person, they're realizing like, did I really win? I mean, because... For example, if, if you got with somebody that was cheating or you got somebody that was doing drugs or stealing and, you know, it's like, well, did, is this really a win? You know, I mean, this I cheated with this person to be with this person. Is it really a win? Because, I mean, can I even really trust them? Like, you know, um, what's the justice with the brainstorming card? They lost their chance or you did. Yeah. And family issues. There could be family problems going on here. This could also be like a divorce. Uh, legality problems, child support, things like that. Somebody could be trying to figure out how to get out of that. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so like, it, it's like somebody's looking at it like, okay, how am I going to win this? Or was it worth winning this? Because it looks like somebody could have lost out on an opportunity here. There could be some family issues going on. Somebody's trying to figure out how to get out of that. And it could have been due to ego. It says hurt ego, ego getting in way of relationship and etc. Somebody's ego could be very big here. You know, they wanted to win at all costs, but they weren't thinking about the consequences or, or the things that they were going to lose in the process here. Yeah, divination abuser blocked bad karma. For some of y'all, this person could have been using manipulation, you know, spell work, uh, black magic here, you know, lie, cheat, and steal type of energy, uh, gaslighting energy here. Um, and now somebody's dealing with the, the aftermath of that. Like you wanted to win and you were willing to do whatever you needed to to get the win, right? And so now there are consequences and now that's your bad karma that you're dealing with that's being dished out to you. So somebody may feel like a certain situation is being blocked from them, whether it's like a, a family issue, uh, some sort of court, some sort of justice, some sort of money. Um, and that's the, you know, that's the bad karma. Yeah, idle Love, respected, admired, idolized, and fans. Somebody may have wanted attention or they wanted to, you know, be popular. Maybe they wanted to get with the popular person. And so they were willing to, you know, lie, cheat, steal, be manipulative, be manipulative, cunning, all of that behind the scenes in order to get this win. So what's the hermit with the fake apology for the collective? Forcer. See, somebody was trying to force something. Forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. Broke butt. Somebody could be going through a financial strain. What's the hermit with the fake apology? Fake flexing. It says, acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off, and etc. So somebody could have, you know, in order to get this win, in order to get this level up, somebody could have faked their finances, pretended like they had more than what they really did, pretended like they were more valuable than what they truly were in order to get this win. And somebody could be seeing that, that somebody was forcing this, you know, this vision here, but child services on the bottom of the deck, somebody could be very neglectful for one. Uh, for two, somebody could uh, be neglectful to their children, not even like paying attention to their children, handling their responsibilities. And so somebody needs to, with the hermit card, go within and do some soul searching or take some time out here. What's the hermit for the collective? What's the hermit for the collective? Somebody's going through a lot of lack energy, a lot of loss, wasting time, stuck, no changes, limited. Somebody feels like they might have wasted a lot of opportunity here. Thief, rob, loss, theft, physical, or emotional. Somebody could also be thinking like, was this worth the risk? You know, sleeping with this person, messing around with this person, getting with this person, causing all this drama, this conflict, this arguing, this competition. You know, if there was a third party, was it worth cheating on this person? You know, um, I'm losing in money. I'm losing in finances. I lost this whole family dynamic. Now there's family issues. Now there's conflict. Now there's fighting. Now there's arguing. You know, now I got to pay for child support over here. And then uh, now we have a new baby on the way. So now I got to support this family over here. Like somebody's thinking like, is this, was all of this worth it? 
Somebody feels like they wasted their time. Scarcity tactics. Because now they're going through financial burdens, financial woes, fake smiles, screenshots. Somebody could be faking their happiness here. Um, searching through screenshots about something to do with money. You know, hustling, making it rain, focus on money, getting it. Somebody may be realizing that somebody hustled them or somebody only got with them because of their money, because of their finances as well. Rejected, yeah. And somebody could also be wondering, like, if, if this person finds out that I don't make the type of money that I make, am I going to get rejected? You know, will they reject me? Will they no longer want to be with me because I really don't have the finances? I've been faking the funk this entire time. I'm not who I truly said that I was. So that could be what's going on as well. Um. Let's see. And clarify the star card for a collective. Clarify that star energy for the collective. Clarify that star energy. Haunted. Clarify the star energy for the collective. Fed up. Clarify the star energy. Played out. Now somebody's wondering if they can heal this. Fishing for comments. There could be some gossip and things going on online about this person. Um, haunted. Memory flashback. Trauma side effects. Uh, fed up and played out. So yeah, somebody could be haunted by their, their past actions because now they're realizing like, am I going to be able to heal this now? You know, I, I really played myself. You know, my games are played out. I can no longer manipulate a situation. I can no longer play, play anybody because it, there's facts, there's proof, you know, there's evidence of what I did or, um, you know, like it say, if there was a pregnancy, there's a whole baby now, or if there was like financial, like somebody playing around with their finances or faking their finances is proof now. They don't have the money to provide for a situation or uh, some sort of circumstance. You know, somebody's getting fed up because of their past actions. They're wondering now, like, am I, it's kind of like, will hope be restored? Like, am I going to be able to get out of this situation? Am I going to be able to uh, be positive? You know, but that's what somebody needs to have. They need to stay positive, stay in the upright and realize, you know, things will get better. You know, whatever happened, happened. Learn from the consequences of your actions and keep moving forward. So this is what I have for you, Collective. I hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.